I was home alone one night. Our house is a split level house, and the upstairs is an apartment basically. So my brother and I live upstairs while our parents live downstairs. It's pretty nice. It was a weekend and I was staying in. It was rainy outside, so my friends didn't really want to do anything. I spent the night watching scary movies in my room. I was watching Doctor Sleep, a movie I'd never seen before, and I was pretty invested in it. I paused it while I went to go grab a snack in the kitchen. I went to the pantry closet, grabbed a box of crackers, and then heard a sound from downstairs, which I dismissed as nothing. I went back to my room, shut the door, and turned the movie back on. I noticed the backyard motion light was now on, and then I heard some sounds from downstairs, directly below my bedroom. It sounded like the back door being closed. So to explain the layout of our house, my room is directly above the back door to the house on my parents' floor. The walls in this house are paper thin, you could hear a pin drop from downstairs. So I easily heard someone downstairs, and when I paused the movie, it became more obvious that I was hearing footsteps. I texted my family group chat asking who just got home. My mom answered within a minute saying, we're not home. That would mean it would have to be my brother, but that would be incredibly weird since he never enters through the back of the house. He also wasn't supposed to be home tonight. I said in our group chat, I hear someone downstairs. Alex, is that you? He didn't reply. I heard the footsteps crossing the house towards the front until they were out of earshot. Then I heard footsteps coming up the stairs. I turned off the TV. The footsteps were coming straight down the hall to my room, skipping every other room in the hallway. They were heavy footsteps. They got to my door, and then my door opened. I was laying still in my bed, pretending to have my eyes shut, squinting just enough to see a head peering into the room through the doorway, looking right at me. It was dark. I could only see the person's eyes, and it didn't look like Alex. He stood at the doorway, watching for what felt like forever as I laid there pretending to be asleep. After maybe 30 seconds to a minute, he closed the door, but I didn't hear footsteps walk away. I texted my family group chat in all capitals, Alex, please tell me that's you in the house. He replied back almost instantly, saying, no, what are you talking about? That was when I told them someone is in the house. I called 911 and started whispering into the phone. And that was when I finally heard footsteps walk away from the door. He must have heard me start to speak, even in a whisper. The footsteps went down the stairs, and then I couldn't hear them anymore. I was told to stay on the line with the dispatcher until help arrived. There was a knock at the door downstairs about five minutes later, so when the dispatcher told me I was good to go down to let the police in, I did. In my county, police work in pairs, so the two police officers who arrived looked through the whole house with me, checking every closet under every bed. And when it was determined that the house was clear, they left. One of my parents left the back door unlocked, it was as simple as that. There's no chance of sleeping after something like this happens. Nobody would be home until the next day, so I had to get through this night alone. A little while after the police left, the backyard motion light turned on. Something set it off. I looked out my window and caught just a glimpse of a man walking away from the house into a far dark corner of the backyard where I couldn't see him anymore. I think he may have tried entering the house again, but this time the door was locked. I watched through the window for as long as the motion light was on. When it turned off, it was too dark to see anything out there. As long as the light didn't go off again, then I'd know he wasn't coming back. Thankfully, he never did. Taking half a second to lock your doors can be the difference between someone getting in your house or not. Because my parents forgot to lock the door, I will now forever have the haunting image of seeing that person's head peering into my room looking at me, specifically the eyes. It's an image that's going to stay with me.